Welcome back on my channel Dreamers, the first tutorial of the year, I'm very happy to start this new adventure together, it will be fun! Everything you have before your eyes was only possible with the arrival of Dreams 2, so do you still have doubts about its power? <laughs> In this little project there is an incredible amount of tracks, but with the possibility of turning entire groups into flipbooks, this number can be drastically reduced, to include many more elements. Plain explosions pass in the background with the ocean and the warship are all separate layers. All animations are made with rigging, which even if still rudimentary, here on Dreams can still be done. Rigging here on Dreams is really basic, in fact I would say that we are practically inventing it, because there are no real options to do it, such as the hierarchy in the levels, the mesh system or an animation library, but maybe this is the beauty of it, we artists will be the ones to create this system here on Dreams, as I did in this case. Today I'll show you the basis of this system, we are going to work on the aircraft animations and how I did it, to give it this fake 3D look. Watch the video till the end if you are interested and subscribe to the channel, thank you! First of all we move on to Procreate, I'll show you some of the elements that make up the plane. Today's goal is to put the wings and body of the plane in 3D. I know I insist on drawing here, but for the moment, as you know my desire to draw is very low. <laughs> and Procreate in this aspect is still much superior to Dreams, and it's done much quicker. In today's tutorial we see how to make this part and the wings move for a good 3D effect. We focus on these two elements because they are the fundamental parts that allow all the animation. Then there are other parts but serve to refine the plane, such as the cabin and the rear wing. So let's create a new project on Dreams. For this type of animation in rig I recommend 60 FPS. Your project will be a little heavier but the fluidity is guaranteed. Next step, I import all the elements of the aircraft from Procreate. Directly from the gallery, ok. Now I resize a bit. The compose mode is really useful. I convert the layers into tracks. There are some elements, as I was saying, that are used to refine the whole project, like this part that make up the propeller. I'm going to hide this for now, ok. Even this one. Practically with just these two elements we can already create the basis of the aircraft animation. As you see in this part, where the plane emerges from the clouds, these elements create the basic animation and now I'll show you how. The first element to animate is the central body of the plane, which will be useful to help us understand the perspective in which it must be positioned. I start by adding keyframes with the distortion tool, rotating the shape by almost 90 degrees by moving the vertices and trying to position it as if we were looking at it from below. Ok, good. Next step, I put another keyframe here, for example. Timing is not important now, what I care about is the animation. In this keyframe I'm going to move the vertices again, as if I were looking at the body of the plane from an almost frontal position. We also have to think a little about perspective in this case, the tail will have to be smaller and vice versa the muzzle. Ok, great. 
As you can see, this is the first animation we got with the nose of the plane going down. Has a trend curve set is in and out? Ok. The distortion tool allows us to modify shapes by moving vertices, in this case creating a very interesting animation. With the central part of the plane fixed, I can go to add the wings, again with the distortion tool. Follow this step carefully, we will try to put the wing in the correct perspective under the writing. Let's start from these vertices and move here. I reverse these two like this. The central body, as I was telling you, help us a lot to place the wing in the correct position. Mm, collapse this, ok. Now at this point I'm going to distort the wing again, paying close attention to the position of the vertices. At this step be careful to distort only the elements without using move and scale tool, otherwise the shapes will not convex. Now let's try to put it in the right position. Ok, now let's do a test, perfect. The two shapes distort together perfectly. Now I can work on the wing that will be on the left. I remove a bit of opacity from the central body because it will have to be behind. Duplicate the wing. Move below. Here. Ok, I'm going to completely delete the distortion keyframes because I'll have to make new ones. Obviously with the same timing. Here the work will be further facilitated by the right wing. Finally in this position the plane will appear to form a cross. I really like using the distortion tool allows you to create a fake 3D very interesting. Ok, now I put another keyframe here and distort the shape. Of course there are many sites that allow you to see 3D models or you can create your own here on iPad with Nomad. They can help you understand the right viewing angle of the objects. Viewing angle is a topic that I will definitely explore further in the future. What do you think? Mm -mm -mm. I still have to work a little bit here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, no. Opacity 100%. Ok. Now that we have the animation rig on the plane, I can go and create the movement. First step I move the wall group further forward in the timeline, because as a starting position I will need to see the belly of the plane. I'm going to fill the timeline with the shapes here. Ok. Now I move to the timeline and at 2 seconds I put a keyframe with the move and scale tool, obviously on the wall group. I go back to zero and add another one. I start from here by resizing and moving the plane. Moved off the screen. This is the basis of the movement I want to achieve, the plane emerges from the clouds to arrive in the foreground. We need to add another movement that will make it draw as a curve. To do this I have to expand the move scale tool and work on the y axis. At this point I'll try to move the plane here. And the animation already works much better. 
Obviously, everything is very rigid for the moment, but what I want to teach you today is how to create this type of animation. You have to keep in mind that uh, there are many other things to work on, such as the easing curves on the animation and above all adding dynamic camera movements. Let's do some tests with the trend curves on the Y axis. He is in at the beginning and is out after. Let's try. <laughs> it looks like the plane is head batting. I'd say not. Let's try with his in and out here. Better, but I think here is he out. Okay, I think better. We can also work on resizing. Let's try with easy in. Mm, I think it's a b Let's leave easy in and out. Now I'm joining the group and I want to change the timing of the distortion animation. Let's try to shorten it by half. Not compose mode now. <laughs> Keyframe. No. Ok. And this one. Perfect. This phase is obviously a series of attempts which to tell the truth, perhaps were better before. <laughs> As we have seen, we can create really interesting animations with the distortion tool. Another thing I want to show you today is how I added the propeller of the plane. The propeller is a level apart. The problem here is how to make it rotate while changing the viewing angle. It will also have to change its position, but let's see how to do it. First thing, create a group. I will rotate the base layer with the rotation tool. Set the keyframe at this point, for example, and the first one to zero. We give a fairly high value and the trend curve set to linear. Ok, it can go. As I showed you previously with the car wheels, I will be able to crush the entire group without changing the rotation of the propeller. Like this. Mm, I change the anchor point, I put it a little more in the center, ok. Now, in correspondence with the distortion animations, I will move the propeller group. At this point, I resize a bit and move here. Go back to the timeline and I want to put the propeller here. Crash and move at this point. Resize and rotate a bit. Ok, now let's do a test. As a trend curve is in and out. Ok, and I think it sound good. I added the move resize animation on the entire group and I get what I wanted. And above all, by pressing, the rotation of the propeller is not disturbed at all. If you haven't seen it, go and get the tutorial I made on the wheels. You will find the link in the description, it will help you understand even better. Well dreamers, this was a small start on this really interesting project, where I pushed the animation rig to the max. Even though there is no real system here on Dreams, well, we can definitely invent it. I remind you that I'm finishing my animal project, after this holiday break I'm going back to work on it to complete the work and I can't wait to show it to you. I remind you as always to write in the comments, thanks for watching and...